Let's listen to them. Hello, good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Very well. Okay, very good. Thank you for being here. Good evening, uh, Diego. Good evening, Elizabeth and Cesar. Uh, before beginning with the class, I don't know if you have any question about section three, about a midterm exam, any question, any problems that you have right now with the platform? you have any question, any doubt about the exercises or everything is okay? Have you completed them already? Okay, thank you for being here, Perla, Rodrigo. Let's see who else is here. Okay, if you have uh, any question, let me know about these um, exercises and we will try to solve it, okay? But if you have completed already the section three and the midterm, no problem. So we are going right now, let's see here. All clear for now. Okay, very good, Diego. Thank you. Okay, now we are going just to continue with section three. We're going to finish today and tomorrow about section three, okay? We had an activity actually for practicing our um, pronunciation, right? Because what we have to do right now is just to read the conversation and we need to imitate how they speak, how they pronounce the words, the intonation, uh, et cetera, right? Yesterday we played this conversation and we clear all the vocabulary and everything. And I guess that you don't have any question about it. So if you have any question, let me know and we are going to practice it, okay? We are going to listen one more time. We are going to listen to the conversation one more time and then we are going to start practicing it, okay? Um, Try, try to imitate as much as you can uh, this conversation. And in that way, you will be uh, start learning like to better your English because when we learn a language, we imitate everything, right? We imitate uh, the accent, we imitate the pronunciation of the words, the sounds. So that's what we have to do right now. We have to imitate so we can start working or um, uh like start speaking better. So this conversation is about uh, some recommendations. Uh, we are going to give recommendations, but not yet. First, we are going to check the, the first part rather and prefer to. We are going to check that today. And after that, we are going to, to check um, the recommendations, how to provide recommendations, right? with prepositions. So it says the conversation here, uh, it says, so how is your Mandarin class going? So in questions, remember to emphasize that, right? Like if it is a question, you need to 
uh, create a different intonation, right? How's your Mandarin class going? Harder than unexpected, right? Respect the commas, right? Harder than I, I expected. Actually, I am finding the pronunciation very difficult. Well, I imagine it takes a while to get it right. You know, you could improve your accent by watching movies. So, teacher dice, hoy solo podré estar de clase como oyente. Okay, Nady, no problem. So, it says, that's a good idea, but how do you learn new vocabulary? I always seem to forget new words. I learn new English words best by writing them down and reviewing them many times. I've been using this vocabulary building up. It really works for me. Look, maybe I should try something like that. So that is the conversation about, it's about giving recommendations um, about pronunciation. And this is one of my recommendations, right? Try, try to imitate, listen and imitate. We are going to listen to one more time the conversation and and we are going to uh check we are going to start practicing okay the conversation so let's listen to it one more time let me know if you are not able to listen let me know page 52 exercise 8 conversation it works for me part a listen and practice so how's your Mandarin class going? Harder than I expected, actually. I'm finding the pronunciation very difficult. Well, I imagine it takes a while to get it right. You know, you could improve your accent by watching movies. That's a good idea. But how do you learn new vocabulary? I always seem to forget new words. I learn new English words best by writing them down and reviewing them many times. I've been using this vocabulary building app. It really works for me. Look. Hmm. Maybe I should try something like that. Okay, perfect. So that is the conversation. We shared the conversation yesterday and also the link, the video, for you to review it. So now we are going to start practicing, okay? I need two volunteers to play the roles, right? Marta and Kevin. Two volunteers. Dos me voluntarios. Too. Who said me? Uh, Cesar, okay. right? Yeah. Okay, Cesar, and another person, please. Eliu. Eliu, okay, very good. So, Cesar, you are going to start, and then Eliu will continue, and I will write here my observations, okay? Try to imitate what you just listened. Try to imitate. Go ahead. Okay. I'm going to ask the... I'm not uh, imitate like Marta saying, but okay, no I, will, I will imitate the intonation only. <laughs> yes, exactly. Just intonation. Okay, okay. Okay. So how's your Mandarin class going? Harder than I expected. Actually, I'm finding the pronunciation very difficult. Well, I imagine it. it takes a while to get it right, you know. You could improve your accent by watching movies. That's a good idea. But how do you learn new vocabulary? I always seem to forget new words. I learn new English words best by writing them then down and reviewing them many times. I've been using this vocabulary, vocabulary building up. It really works for me. Look. Hmm, maybe I should try something like that. Okay, very good. It was better. It was better. Very good. Let's see, Sulma, what is your opinion? How did they do it? It was good. It was so-so. No, it's excellent. Excellent, right? Very good. Excellent. Very good. <laughs> very good. Very good. Perfect. So we are going to check some words right now. How do you say pronunciación in English? How do you say that? Pronunciation. Pronunciation, Pro pronunciation exactly. Pronunciation, right? Pronunciation, very difficult. Uh, how do you say 
I lo imagino. Well, me imagino, right? Well, I... I imagine it. I imagine it, right? I, I imagine. imagine it. Yes, well, I imagine it. I imagine it takes a while, right, to get it right. Very good. How do you say acento in English? Accent. 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 Very good. Accent. 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 Very good. And also writing them right. So when we, it's difficult to pronounce to pronounce some words when they are together, but we can say it slowly, right? I I learn new English words best by writing them down. So we can slow it a little bit, right? No problem. Let's see. Uh, Eliu, choose someone else. Escoja alguien más. Okay, Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Okay, Elizabeth. Nady is not. Uh, probably she's not able to open the microphone. So Nady will be just listening the class. No problem. So Elizabeth. And who else? Caesar. Choose another person. I was speaking in the microphone, you know. Okay, okay. Sulma. Sulma. Okay, Elizabeth and Sulma. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, very good. So, Elizabeth, you start and then Sulma will follow you. Okay. So, how is your mandatory class going? Harder than I expect, actually. I'm finding the pronunciation very difficult. Well, I'd imagine it is. takes a while to get the right. You know, you could improve your accent by watching movies. That's a good idea. But how do you learn new vocabulary? I always seem to forget new words. I learn new English words better by writing them, them down uh, the group day many times. I've been using the vocabulary building app it really works for me. Look. Mm, maybe I should try something like that. Very good. Perfect. Very good. Perfect. Very good. Perfect. It was really good. Really good pronunciation, actually. You pronounced uh, very well. In this case, uh, my observation, right? My recommendation would be just to uh, try to pronounce the the questions in a different way, right? Like, so how's your Mandarin class going, right? You did it, but sometimes it sounds like the same, but actually it was really good. Uh, how do you say vocabulario in English? How do you say vocabulario? Vocabulary. Vocabulary, vocabulary, very good. Vocabulary building up. It's a difficult, right, to say everything all together. Vocabulary building up. But it was really good. Uh, now, Suma, choose someone else, please. Okay. Don, Don Ciro. Okay, and, Ciro, are you there? And, and yes. Rodrigo Daniel Melendez. And Rodrigo, okay. Are you there, Rodrigo? Yes, thank you. Okay, perfect. So, Rodrigo and Ciro. Ciro, you will start, and Rodrigo will follow you, okay? Just try to imitate what you heard. Okay. So, how was your Mandarin class going? Harder than I expected, actually. I'm finding the pronunciation very difficult. Well, I imagine it takes a while to get a right. You know, you could improve your accent by watching movies. That's a good idea. But how do you learn new vocabulary? I always seem, seem to forget new words. I learn new English words best by writing them down a uh, reviewing them many times. I've been using the vocabulary building up. It really worked for me, look. Mm, maybe I should try something like that. Very good, perfect. Thank you, Ciro. Thank you, Rodrigo. You did it very well, actually. Remember uh, the rules that we practice for ED, right? 
expected or expected? How do you pronounce it? Expected or expected? What is the correct pronunciation? Expected, right? Expected. Very good. And what is the meaning of uh, this word after expected? ¿Qué significa actually? What is the meaning? De hecho. De hecho, uh -huh, en realidad, uh -huh, actually, right? Actually. Sometimes when we see, for example, acento, uh, accent, right? Accent, acento. But it, it is not accent, it's accent, right? Accent. So in the A, we, that is the, the, um, the strength of the word, let's say, right? And sim, right? Sim, what is the meaning of sim? ¿Qué significa sim? What is the meaning of sim? It says, I always seem to forget new words. What is the meaning of sim? Parecer. Parecer, exactly. So, I always seem to forget, you know, parece que siempre olvido las palabras nuevas, right? I always seem to get, to forget new words. Very good. Now, Rodrigo, choose someone else. Mm, Elizabeth. 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 Me encanta mi nombre. <laughs> yes, <laughs> but Elizabeth already participated. Another person. No, es que hay dos Elizabeth. Ah, two Elizabeth. So it's Elizabeth. Alejandra. Alejandra. Alejandra, Alejandra Elizabeth, right? Alejandra Elizabeth. Are you there? Yes. <clears throat> okay, perfect. And Ciro, choose another person, please. Wait, 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 teacher. Okay, no problem. Uh, Rodrigo Antonio. Okay, okay, Rodrigo Antonio, are you there? Present. Okay, perfect. So we are going to practice the conversation. Alejandra, uh, Elizabeth, you begin, and then Rodrigo, you continue. Okay. <clears throat> so, how's your Mandarin class going? Harder than I expected, actually. I'm finding the pronunciation very difficult. Well, I imagine it takes a while to get it right. You know, you could improve your accent by watching movies. That's a good idea, but I, how do you learn new vocab? But how do you learn new vocabulary? I always seem to, to forget new words. I learn new English words best by writing them down and reviewing them many times. I've been using the vocabulary building app. It really works for me. Look. Mm. Maybe I should try something like that. Good, very good, perfect, very good. Better, better the pronunciation. You see, if you practice and practice and practice and you start listening, you start getting better. Very good. Uh, Alejandra, choose the last person, please. Mm, Perla. Perla, are you there, Perla? Present, teacher. Okay, and Rodrigo, choose another person, please. Uh, Nady. Mm, I guess Nady is not able to turn on the microphone today. Uh, choose another one, please. Elizabeth Guti. Uh, she already participated. <laughs> she, they like your name, exactly. We have so, Estela Soraya. Soraya. Okay, very good. Soraya, are you there? Soraya, Lisbeth, Araujo, Decardo. Are you there, Soraya? Yes? No? 
pero si quiere yo vuelvo a participar. Uh, let's let's wait. Let's see if someone else is available. If it is not possible, you will participate, Elizabeth. Thank you. Estela, are you there, Estela? Estela Diaz. Sandra, let's see. Sandra Patricia, you want to participate? Yes. Okay, very good. So Sandra and uh, Mr. Perla will participate, okay? So Sandra, okay. you begin and he will follow you. Very good, thank you. So how how you send the class going? Hard, harder than I expected. Actually, I finding the pronunciation very difficult. Mm, well, I imagine it takes a while to get it right. You know, you could improve your ascent by watching movies. That's a good idea. But how do you read new vocabulary? I like watching to forget new words. I learn new English words best by writing them down and reviewing them many times. I've been using the, this vocabulary building up. It really works for me. Look. Maybe I should try something like that. Very good, very good pronunciation. Let's see, let's remember a little bit of this word, right? Harder than I expected, actually, I am finding, right? Find Maybe. is the verb and finding, finding, finding is the ing, yes, finding. Okay. Also accent, right? Improve your accent. A idea, right? In Spanish is idea, very good, but in English is idea. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, aprender, right? Uh, you. But how do you learn new vocabulary? How do you learn, right? And something, something, right? Very good. But it was very good pronunciation. I guess that you have been practicing. If you practice the conversations, you are going to get better. Perfect. Thank you for participating. Gracias por participar. And now uh, we are going to just focus on another topic today. This is from section three, right? And uh, we are going to have a listening also, and we're going to have the grammar. Uh, so first we are going to check some vocabulary really quickly. Vocabulary that we are going to use in the section three. This is just to increase your vocabulary and also uh, different ways to say it. Um, different words, right? Let's see. So for example, uh, this is the first one, right? It says path. Path is this one, right? Path. Another one, lecture. What is lecture in, in Spanish? Who knows that? What is lecture? Lectura, teacher? No. Lectura? Como una clase uh, Exactly. This is lecture. You see, lecture can be lectura. Very good. Lectura is okay. But lecture is como una clase, right? Como una clase de universidad. Lecture. Very good. Let's see. Uh, learning path and study is rutas de estudio y aprendizaje, right? On your own. What does it mean on your own? Por ti mismo. Por ti mismo. Let's see. For team is very good, perfect. Let's see, degree. What is degree? Let's see. Is titulo universitario. Or what is your degree? When I when I ask you what is your degree, for example, um, I'm, uh, I'm a bachelor's degree, or my bachelor's degree is in administration or marketing or engineering, right? So that is your bachelor's degree, right? So that is your degree competitive sorry competitiveness competitiveness what is competitiveness competitividad let's see very good competitiveness very good outdoors what is the meaning of outdoors fuera fuera la fuera de casa fuera de la puerta exactly fuera right al aire libre fuera very good perfect another one time management what is that 
time management. Tiempo de administrarlo, tiempo. Ajá, manejo del tiempo, administración del tiempo. Very good, time management. Very good. Let's see. Let's see, it says sign up. Okay, uh, I think that there are some missing. Let me sign in. So we're going to finish with the rest. Mm -hmm. Ponelo en el congelador. Okay, I have it here. I will share the screen again. Let me see here. Now we're going to finish with the vocabulary. Perseverance. That is the pronunciation of this. It's not perseverance, right? It's perseverance. Perseverance is perseverancia, right? Never give up, right? Perseverance. Self-confidence. What is self-confidence? Autoconfianza. Let's see. Very good, autoconfianza. Very good. Self-confidence, like you trust in yourself, right? Another one, concern for others. What is concern? Concern for others. Let's see. Preocupado por otros. Preocuparse o preocupado por otros. Very good. Preocuparse por los demás. I have a concern for others, right? Whereas, what is whereas? This is like a word like to join different ideas, right? Whereas is mientras que, right? Mientras que, whereas. Surround. What is the meaning of surround? Alrededor. Alrededor. Alrededor, rodear, o algo que está alrededor de uno, right? Very good. Surroundings. Claim. What is a claim? Reclamo. Reclamo. Very good. O a una afirmación, right? Una afir afirmar algo. As a verb is afirmar. O claim, reclamar. O un reclamo. Very good. Very good. And the last one, on the move. What does it mean, this expression, on the move? En movimiento. En movimiento. Very good. Perfect. On the move and movimiento. Very good. Perfect. So uh, this is vocabulary that we are going to use in this section. And I'm going to, we are going to practice a little bit of a listening here. It says perspective, a, a survey, right? It says, listen to a survey that a school is conducting about student preferences. Check the student's answers. So we have here Springfield Center for Continuing and we are going to listen and we are going to check um, the response for the students. Let's see, let me open here the listening, the video. This will be like a listening practice. Let's see. Unit 8. Never Stop Learning. Page 50. Exercise 2. Perspectives. A Survey. Part A. Listen to a survey that a school is conducting about student preferences. Check the student's answers. Okay, let's start. 1. Would you rather study on your own or join a study group? A. I'd rather study on my own. B. I'd rather join a study group. C. I'd rather do both. I guess I'd rather join a group. 2. Would you rather take an art course or a professional course? A. I'd rather take an art course. B. I'd rather take a professional course. C. I'd rather not take either. I'd rather take a language course. Hmm. I'd rather not take either. I think I'd rather take a language course. 3. Would you prefer to take an online course or a traditional course? A. I'd prefer to take an online course. B. I'd prefer to take a traditional course. C. I'd prefer not to take either. I'd prefer to hire a private tutor. Let's see. I'd prefer to take an online course. Very good. Let's see. Uh, what was the response for number one? Would you rather study on your own 
or join a study group? What is the response? B. B, right. I'd rather join a study group. Perfect. Number two, would you rather take an art course or a professional course? What is the response? C. C. I'd rather not take either. I'd rather Very take good. a course. Very good. Perfect. Letter C, right. I'd rather not take either. I'd rather take a language course. And number three, would you prefer to take an online course or a traditional course? What is the response? A. Letter. Letter? A. A, exactly. I prefer to take an online course. Very good. So that is a survey, right? A survey, encuesta, right? Survey. Perfect. So we are going to continue. Um, in this class or in this section of the platform, they explain to us different things about rather and prefer, right? Rather takes the base form of the verb and prefer usually takes an infinitive. Both are followed by not in the negative. So both are followed by not. Probably some of you had some problems in the platform, uh, but that's the reason why uh, we, um, we are checking this right now. What is the meaning of rather? What is the meaning of rather? ¿Qué significa rather? Preferir. Preferir, Preferir. is like, it's similar, right? To prefer, it's similar. Preferir. Would you rather take an art course or a professional course, right? Preferirías esto o preferirías lo otro, right? It's the same as prefer. So it's different than, um, yes, Rodrigo Antonio. I have a question. What yes. is art course? Art course. What is art course? Art is arte, right? And course, curso pero de elección, ¿verdad? So, un curso de arte, unas clases de arte. That is en art course. Uh -huh. en, op en oposición a professional course? A professional course is a course, uh, probably uh, talking about something that is totally opposite from art, right? For example, business administration or marketing, that is a professional course, something related to your profession. Lo otro sería como un técnico o un oficio. Art course will be like painting or I don't know, uh, music, Pero right? Acting, writing, writing. acting, yes. Something related to the art. Algo okay. relacionado con el arte, exacto. Y el professional course, algo más técnico, exacto. Bueno, gracias. Very good, very good question. So, uh, they are similar, right? Rather and prefer, right? So, if, what is, uh, there is a contraction here, right? This contraction is will, I will rather, or I rather take an art course. Preferiría tomar un curso de arte, right? I rather not take either. So, in negative, I, I, I'm not going to say I don't rather, don't say that, don't write it. I rather not, right? I rather not take either. Preferiría no tomar ninguno, ¿verdad? I rather not take either. I rather take a language course than study art. And um, let's rather, I'd rather not, not join a group. I rather not, I prefer, right? I prefer not to join a group. And I prefer not to. Remember that with prefer, we use infinitive, right? And with rather, we use the base form of the verb. Rather take and prefer to take, right? I rather not or I, I prefer not to, right? I prefer not to join or, or I rather not join a group. So be careful with that. So we are going to continue. Let's see here. These are some examples with would rather and would prefer to say something that you like, one thing or activity more than another. Uh, for example, uh, can you, Eliu, can you help me reading the examples, please? I prefer to study French. Mm -hmm. I rather take classes, take class of in the morning. I rather take class in the morning. Very good, perfect. So if you, if you see here, I prefer to, right? I prefer to study French. 
So remember, this is an infer infinity. With prefer, we use infinity. And I'd rather take, you see, here there is no infinity. I'd rather take classes in the morning. And this is, uh, would rather, this is the base form of the verb. And this is, uh, these are some examples, right? I rather, would you rather study Spanish in Mexico or Argentina? I'd rather study in Mexico. I'd rather study in Mexico than in Argentina. Then is que verdad. Prefiero estudiar en México que en Argentina. I'd rather not study in either country. Prefiero no estudiar en ningún país, either, right? Or, would you rather be an actor or a teacher? I'd rather be an actor. Another way to say the same response is, I'd rather be an actor than a teacher. Or, I'd rather not be either. I'd rather not be either. Questions about this? Preguntas? Questions? Okay, remember, I'm asking if you have questions because later we are going to practice. Después vamos a practicar. Así que si tienen preguntas, este es el momento, okay? So this is the way to say the same answer. And this is in negative, right? I'd rather not, right? I'd rather not be either or I'd rather not study in either country. And this is prefer, right? With prefer, remember to use infinitive. This is the base form with rather and this is the infinitive. Would you prefer to have a private tutor or take online classes? I'd prefer to have a private tutor. The same response, right? I prefer to have a private tutor, rather they take uh, online classes. Or if I don't like either, if I don't like any of the uh, options, I prefer not to do either. Would you prefer to work with Kelvin or Russell? I prefer to work with Kelvin. I prefer to work with Kelvin rather than with Russell. I prefer not to work with either person, right? I don't like Kelvin. I don't like to work with Russell. So I prefer not to work with either person. Questions about prefer. Preguntas de prefer. Questions. Questions? Everything's clear? No questions? Perfect. I have a question. Yes, Elizabeth. When you use she or he, uh, the verb changes. Um, like for yeah, example, she prefer to blah blah blah. No. Like she, uh, how how would you how would you change it? Uh, the bear prefer uh, to has or no, uh, I don't know. Si cuando se utiliza she, digamos, mm -hmm. ella preferiría tener blah 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 blah. blah. Entonces si ella se cambiará. Ella preferiría, Entonces, por ejemplo. Ajá. Ajá, por, por eso, entonces se va a cambiar eh, el have por has o se va a quedar siempre como infinitivo. Ah, it's the same, right? She would prefer, she would prefer, but remember, uh, would is a modal, right? Would is a modal verb. And if we use a modal verb with he, she, it is the same one. She would prefer, and then the infinitive is the same, right? She would prefer to work with Kelvin. Ella preferiría trabajar con Kelvin. So it's the same. She would prefer to work with Kelvin. No, no changes, right? Uh, he, right? He'd prefer to work with Kelvin rather than with Russell. So it will be the same. Infinitive is the, is the same. If it is have, right? She'd prefer to have a private tutor. So in this case, it's the same because after prefer, always, we always are, we are going to use the infinitive. We are always going to use the infinitive. So okay. no changes. Thanks. Very good question. Very good question. Another question or everything is clear? Uh, otra pregunta? ¿Cómo traduciría rather than? Más que. Más que, uh -huh, rather than. Exactly. For example, here. I'd rather be an actor than a teacher, rather than. Preferiría ser un actor que un maestro, right? Que un maestro. So that's that's correct, exactly. Gracias. I'd rather be an actor than a teacher. Very good. Very good question. Another question? Teacher, I have a question. 
uh -huh. rather it, it, we must we always uh, need to use with the modal would could i say yes. i will oh. rather yes but it will be yo preferiré i will rather so um you can you can use it yes i will rather study in mexico preferiré estudiar en mexico but that sounds kind of uh kind of weird so that's the reason why we studied it with wood right preferiría mm -hmm. because okay. it's it's like I'm, I'm giving you options and and that's like the way to say right preferiría hacer esto que esto porque preferiré in in this case then i i'll do it right anyways i'll do it i don't have i i don't look for other options if i will do it in okay. the future anyways so yes uh, another question very good Elio. another question aquí en el chat asensio y salazar me están reportando un enfermo y el otro que no pudo por cuestiones laborales no se ha podido conectar okay and the whatsapp group yes Yes, uh, yes, thank you, Elio. Thank you for reporting that. Yeah, because I wasn't paying attention to that, but hopefully they are going to be in the next class and they can see, they can watch this class later. So no questions right now, right? No hay preguntas de esto. Yes, no. Okay, perfect. So I would rather and would prefer to refuse invitations or plans. If I uh, tell you, like, let's learn Chinese and you don't want to, how do you say it? I rather not learn Chinese. Preferiría no aprender chino, right? I rather not learn Chinese. Or you can say, I rather not. That's okay. Or if I tell you, let's take cooking classes. I prefer not to take cooking classes or I prefer not to, right? I prefer not to. Remember that we, first we use I rather and then not. I rather not learn Chinese. I rather not. I prefer not to take cooking classes. I prefer not to. And uh, these are some verbs, right? I rather eat pizza or I prefer, right? It's the same. I prefer to eat pizza. I prefer eating pizza or I prefer pizza. We can say it in different different ways. Um, another another way to say right. I rather eat pizza than fried chicken. This is not French chicken. This is fried chicken, right? I rather eat pizza than fried chicken. I prefer to eat pizza rather than fried chicken. I prefer eating pizza to fried chicken, or I prefer pizza to fried chicken. You see, it's the same, and we can use different words, right? We prefer or would rather. Ok, questions, preguntas acerca de esto, uh, about the negative way, uh, negative form. Questions, no questions. Ok, when you, when we say I prefer eating, the eating, we subtract or, or we don't, we do not use the two, the, the infinitive. I yes, exactly. Eating the pizza. Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. I prefer eating pizza. Um, do you remember the list of verbs uh, that follows gerunds that I showed you in previous classes? Yes. Okay, so there are some verbs that they take both. They take gerunds and they take infinitives. In this case, prefer takes uh, infinitives to eat or a gerund, eating. Eating is a gerund. So you can say it in both ways. I prefer eating pizza or I prefer to eat pizza. Uh, for example, another verb is love, right? I love to eat pizza or I love eating pizza. Love is another verb that takes two. It takes the infinitive and it takes a gerund. So there are many verbs that take both. And there okay. are some that only takes uh, gerunds and there are others that only take infinitive. But in this case, prefer takes both. So no problem. Yeah. Okay, we'd rather uh, remember just the base form, right? I'd rather eat pizza. No, I'd rather to eat. No, right? I'd rather eating. No, I'd rather eat. Okay, questions? No questions. Perfect. So now you are going to 
make the questions. Ustedes van a hacer las preguntas. And we are going, to, I guess that we are going to finish with this activity, uh, probably. Now I have questions here. And you are going to ask to your classmates. Ustedes se van a preguntar entre ustedes, okay? Now, for example, would you rather have telekinesis? Telekinesis is the ability to move things with your mind. Or telepathy, the ability to read minds. Would you rather to have telekinesis or telepathy? Okay, let's see. Let's see. Um, I don't see Sulma here. Probably she disconnected, right? Because probably she had problems with her internet. So let's see. Mayra Portillo. I are you there, Mayra Portillo? Mayra, not there. Okay, let's see. Zero, zero, Mira. Are you there, zero? Yes, teacher. Perfect. So, would you rather have telekinesis or telepathy? I, I rather uh, tele, telepath, telepathy. Telepathy. Than, than tele, telekinesis. Okay, so you would rather have telepathy than telekinesis why because i like i like the practice the tele, telekinesis okay so you you rather practice than telekinesis than telepathy yeah. yeah okay perfect now zero choose another person and you Eliu, okay, so zero, ask, ask number two to Eliu, ask number two. Okay. Eliu, would you prefer to find two law today or win the lottery next year? I prefer to find the true law today oh. than win the lottery. Uh -huh. then, I prefer, uh, then, then win the lottery next year. Very good. So you haven't you haven't find true love yet, Eliu? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. That's the reason why I I thought that you good, haven't good found. Look. <laughs> good, good luck. Yes. Good of, luck. Course. <laughs> of course. Of course. <laughs> okay. okay. Very good, Eliu. Let's yeah. see, uh, Eliu, choose another person, please. Uh, Elizabeth, the first Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Elizabeth, the first one, okay, Elizabeth Gutierrez, okay. Ask Ahora sí si solo estoy yo, Elizabeth, ya te habiendo, <laughs> ya ve que si la trae conmigo. Yes, yes, you're popular, Elizabeth. <laughs> no, es que, que no está Mario, es que no está Rafael, <laughs> verdad, no está Rafael. It's not Rafael here. <laughs> Okay, as uh, Elizabeth number three. Okay, would you rather be in a jail for five years or be in a coma for a decade? Okay. It's right, say decade or decade? Decade, decade. Decade, decade. Mm. Difícil. Yes, <laughs> difícil. So, would you rather be in jail for five years or be in a coma for a decade? It depends. <laughs> no. <laughs> it depends which is which is yeah. better for you. Which is better for you? Um, I prefer. Um, no, I rate. Uh -huh. I rather, uh huh. I rather um be in coma for a day, a decade, I think. Decade, uh huh. Decade. Decade. Then be in hell for five years. Okay, so you would rather be in coma for ten years then. Yes. 
than being in jail uh, for five years. For five years, yes. Okay, that's interesting. So you don't like that experience in your life, right? Yes, Rodrigo. En ese caso había una forma de responder que ninguna de las dos, ¿verdad? Yes, yes. If you don't like any of those, I would rather not to any. be in jail. Or, or uh -huh, I would rather any or I would rather not to be in jail or not to be in coma, right? I, would, I wouldn't rather any. I, I have an accident. Not. I have uh -huh. a coma three years. Well, three days. Mm -hmm. uh, it is very difficult. You were in coma three days? Yes. Really? I have an accident in the motorcycle. In a motorcycle. Yes. And how do you feel? How did you what what happened when you realized that you were in a coma? Um se lo tendría que decir en español porque no sé cómo decirlo en inglés. <laughs> yeah, yes, say, say it in Spanish. Let's say it in Spanish. Um me pegó un microbús y uh -huh. topé con un, un pedazo de puente y luego caí de nuevo. Tengo quebrada tres costillas y el hombro dislocado y me estimé la cabeza y desperté y una señora me estaba echando agua. Después me llevaron a emergencias y si no recuerdo mucho de eso, eh, desperté a los tres días y no podía casi respirar porque tenía las costillas quebradas y obviamente no te las pueden enyesar. Uh -huh. Y me dolía un montón la cabeza, tenía inflamado este, una buena parte de la cara y no podía caminar. Y yo todos mis compañeros tenía una platina en la parte de la, um, de el fémur, así como más arriba, por la vejiga, que pusieron una platina porque el accidente fue bastante grande. Pero wow. él no, 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 no sufrió coma. Y ajá, otro de nuestros compañeros eh, perdió la mitad del pie. So it was a big accident. Mm -hmm. Bastante grande. Yes, so sorry for you. But now you're better now, right? It was like long time ago or? Hace ocho años. Eight years ago. Okay. But you don't, you feel better now? You don't have any sequels or anything? A veces me duele la cabeza y más uh -huh. que todo, bueno, tengo un hombro bien cogido. Okay. <ríe> Eso es lo que va a ver. Y, um, pero, y cuando hace mucho frío me duele ciertas partes del cuerpo, que donde tengo las operaciones y donde tengo las, donde me quedaron como los moretes de las costillas. Yes, yes, I imagine that. Okay, that was a very good experience. Not a good experience, was a bad experience. <laughs> no, no. Right? But I, it's an interesting experience. Interesting, yeah, interesting. And, and it's good that you're better now and you survive that because some people don't survive. So you have been in coma. So you that's the reason why, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, okay, very good. Thank you for your experience, Elizabeth. Very good. Now, uh, let's see, choose someone else to ask number four. Mayra. Mayra. Are you there, Mayra? Mayra, let's see. Mayra, Mayra, Mayra. Mayra Portillo, are you there? I guess she's not able to use her microphone. Okay. Uh, Nady? Uh, Nady is just listening. She's not able to use the microphone today. Oh. Sorry. Soraya? Soraya. Soraya, are you there? Soraya Lisbeth Araujo de Cardona. Nobody's here. <laughs> Another uh, person, please. Okay. Um, Rodrigo? Rodrigo, Daniel. Are you there, Rodrigo? No, Rodrigo Antonio. Oh, Rodrigo Antonio. Are you there, Rodrigo Antonio? Yes, right. Yes, I am. Okay, ask uh, Rodrigo number four. Okay. Would you like prefer to have uh, another 10 years with your parents or a uh, one night stand with your celebrate crush? Okay, uh, Rodrigo, would you prefer to have another 10 years with your partner or a one night stand 
with your celebrity crush? I rather to have another 10 years with my partner. Okay, very good. Perfect. Very good. Perfect. Uh, so you rather be with your partner than have one night with your celebrity crush, right? Perfect. Perfect. Choose another person, please. Myra. Myra. I guess Myra, she's not responding. We have Rodrigo Daniel. We have Diego. We have Zulma. Diego. Okay, Diego. Are you there, Diego? Yes. Okay. Uh, ask number five, please. Rodrigo. Would you rather have everyone you know be able to read your thoughts or for everyone you know to have access to your internet history? Okay, very good. Very good question. Would you rather have everyone you know be able to read your thoughts or for everyone you know to have access to your internet history? I'd rather uh, everyone have no be able my my history my internet history. Okay, so so you would rather my, in my... so you rather everybody or everyone uh you know to have access to your internet history. Yes. Okay, then to read your thoughts. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> perfect. Perfect. That's a very, but yes, that's that's good. That's very good answer, right? Because your thoughts probably can be can show more of your of your personality and everything you think, right? Very good, Diego. Choose another person. The last one, la última persona. Choose the last one. Ah, uh, Rodrigo Daniel. Okay, Rodrigo, Daniel, are you there? Rodrigo, Rodrigo, Daniel? Yes, I'm here. Okay, Diego, ask number six. Okay, would you prefer to have a personal maid or a personal chef? Okay, would you prefer to have a personal maid or a personal chef? Mm, I... Uh prefer to have a personal chef okay why well it's easy i don't need to think about what i have to prefer to eat and yes. it's the most most uh, um, the thing most Yes, actually, that's good, right? Because a chef prepares delicious food and uh, he prepares the food that you need, right? That, that you like, right? Your favorite food and everything. Then, and maid, a maid is good, probably. A maid is good, also a good option. Very good. Perfect. So, uh, we are going. Yes, Rodrigo. What is personal maid? Uh, personal maid is como una. Uh, como una ayudante personal, como una criada personal. Ama so she cleans ama de casa. Yeah, no ama de casa, right? But you pay, right, for it. But I mean, uh, she helps with everything, right? Washing the clothes, preparing your, your, yeah, preparing everything that you need. And a personal chef is a personal chef, right? It's como Thank una you. criada personal. Very good, perfect. So we are going to finish right now. Very good. I guess that you understood very well, rather, and prefer to. So try to practice this. And we are going to check tomorrow the last part of section three. Mañana terminamos con la section three with uh, the gerunds, right, and prepositions. Um, I won't give you any homework, so you can rest. And I will give you a homework until tomorrow, okay? So thank you for being here, and have a nice evening, okay? Have a good night. Have a good night. Good night. Thank you. Bye.